Jeff Bard in Treadstone 71. Welcome to the Treadstone 71 Beacon Series on Intelligence Education. We're going to talk this week about priority intelligence requirements and get you started off uh, understanding a little bit on how to prep for building a collection plan. Now, priority intelligence requirements are, are requirements that are critical to, to accomplishing the tasks assigned from your stakeholders. They're usually related to the risk issues targeting your organization. Now, uh, they should become apparent during your Q&A sessions with your stakeholders and part of the intelligence team's listening tour with various organizational leads. Uh, PIRs from the C-suite, uh, in this case, though, they may become requirements as well for other organizational functions, so be aware of that. These do cascade down. So what is a priority intelligence requirement? Well, uh, what makes a good PIR pretty much will define it for you. They ask a single question for you, uh, and you're only looking for one PIR at a time. They focus on a specific fact, an event, or an activity. They provide intelligence required to support a single decision, and they're tied to decisions that stakeholders actually need to make. Uh, they provide uh, the last time by which information of its value, uh, is of value, meaning the last possible time I can get it to leadership before it no longer has value. Of course, you want to try and deliver a little bit faster than that. And you always want to try and uh, answer the PIRs with the available assets and capabilities that you have without having to go out and get new resources if you can avoid it. So party intelligence requirements, again, critical to the function and building your collection plan and understanding your stakeholder needs. Now there are specific information requirements uh, that follow underneath the priority intelligence requirements. Uh, SIRs are specific information requirements describe the information required to answer all or part of a of, uh, priority intelligence requirement. A complete SIR describes the information required, uh, the location where the, the required information possibly could be collected, and the time during which it can be collected if you can actually define that. Generally, uh, each intelligence requirement generates a whole set of specific information requirements. An SIR can help you in your preparation of what data it is you need to collect and that's going to help you satisfy each individual PIR. You can actually use brainstorming methods uh, to help you uh, go after and define your SIRs. It sets up uh, how you're going to use your human and technical uh, requirements for targeting, uh, methods to be used, available data, existing data feeds, or data feeds needed to complete your tasks and create a collection plan. So specific information requirements in short is the data needed to satisfy your PIR. So that's it for uh, this particular uh, section on a Treadstone 71 Beacon series on education and intelligence. We talked about party intelligence requirements and specific information requirements. This is Jeff Barden, Chief Intelligence Officer for Treadstone 71. Thank you very much.